how to prepare a business plan with Excel. Here you can find my paper, how to prepare a business plan with Excel. You can freely download it from Social Science Research Network and you can find also here the website suggested citation. Uh, we are going not only to consider this uh, paper, which is also described and commented in another video, but especially to consider the Excel file that we're going to consider together. Let's go for a second to the uh, PDF file concerning this uh, preparation of the business plan. We go up, uh, this is the file, how to prepare a business plan with Excel. You can, as I told you, download it from the web and it is all uh, illustrated in another video. Now we can immediately go through the uh, big Excel file that we are going to use for this business plan presentation. We start from the contents and uh, since this is a big comprehensive Excel file spreadsheet, everything important is included and considered in this big file. We are going to have in, uh, uh, explained in red input data concerning accounting numbers, costs, revenues, assets and liabilities and also uh, other um, red data that are concerned with uh, macroeconomic variables, interest rates, inflation rates and whatsoever, but also blue data, output data concerning the results of the combination of all the input data. This is the contents with the introduction. You have, you can go with these buttons interactively to the different sections. Then we have the business plan checklist, how to write a business plan with all the useful data, introduction, structure of the business plan and whatsoever. Then we have the income statement, which is the basic building block of business planning. How to forecast revenues and costs. You can see with the years, you have some numbers, but of course, since this is an open template, you can download and use it with a possible uh, introduction of new numbers. And you can freely download from the web this Excel file. We are going to see it. We can go back a minute to the presentation. I show you where to get this file from. This is the source of my website from my uh, Catholic University of the Sacred Heart in Milano, Italy. You can download free of charge the Excel file from this web source. Now we go back to the uh, big Excel file presentation. Here we have the income statement. You have to forecast the revenues and costs across time. Then you have the balance sheet, the representation of assets, tangible and intangible assets, liabilities and the owner's equity, the differential uh, account represented by difference between assets and liabilities. If you combine the balance sheet information of assets and liabilities with income statement, you can freely derive the cash flow statement. Never calculate the cash flow without the balance sheet. Then we, you can combine balance sheet variations across time. You see a blue output data. This is the variation. Look here, for example, you can have variation from one balance sheet to the other. This sheet, balance sheet variation, is necessary for the calculation of the cash flow together with the income statement then eventually you can have the cash flow statement. You can see there is a link. You can have cash flow from operating activities. You see this number comes from income statement. Another 
number, for example here, uh, we can have movements in networking capital comes from B41, is here, and this comes from the balance sheet. So uh, you can understand from the cell that you derive the cash flow statement combining balance sheet variations with income statements. You can have in the cash flow account EBITDA, earning before interest, taxes, depreciation and amortization. This is a very important parameter since it is simultaneously an economic and a financial parameter. It means the cash or the revenues net of cost that you are going to generate out of your standard normal business. Then you can have unlevered or operating cash flow, cash flow before debt service, then levered cash flow, and then, this is very important, you can have levered cash flow. You have a checklist. This is very important in order to understand if you have made some mistake. Try to checklist this and try to have a balance of zero. This is analytical cash, this is synthetic cash considering differences in the balance sheet. And this is very important. You see from this example that cash is zero the first here, then it is positive and increasing across time. Then you can calculate balance sheet ratios. This is a bit small because you have a lot of numbers. Liquid current ratios. The ratio 3, which is a combination of the, you see the margins, all the numbers taken from different numbers. Loan repayment schedule, how to get debt serviced. And also debt covenants. You see all these figures are linked to other sheets. You see, for example, amounts that you have to pay back to banks is taken from the balance sheet, from the liabilities. The repayment is given by another input data. Then you have a lot of instructions. You have also to consider debt covenants. This is just a sample to be adapted to speci specific covenants. Value-added analysis, how you can add value with your business plan. Reclassifying the income statement. Break-even point, this is very important and you have also a link to Wikipedia for a definition. What is the break-even point about? Then you have Operating leverage, the increase in EBIT earning before interest and taxes given by a differential position, possibly an increase in revenues with a mix of uh, fixed costs and variable costs. You can have cash flows combined with operating leverage. And then we start having some Again, you see red input data of county risk, macroeconomic risk, the beta, the equity risk premium, inflation rates with, for example, um, OECD outlook taken from the internet, or an inflation update from another website indication, equity risk premium taken from the Professor Damodaran website, a very good one, a very comprehensive um, possibility of having a lot of Excel files. Then we have interest rates, uh, for example, Euribor, other American, Australian, or interest rates from other countries, currency rates, commodities, and whatsoever. So we go again now back to the contents. This is a big comprehensive business plan Excel file. It may seem a bit complicated, but if you want to use just the most important part of it, you may only refer to, I repeat, income statement, balance sheet with automatic variation, and then cash flow statement. These are the most important parts that you have to consider for your business planning. 
enjoy your plans, make it viral, you can refine, change, update, model this uh, Excel file in order to get a good and comprehensive business plan. Enjoy your work and be very uh, fanciful. Try to use imagination and to incorporate it in real numbers.